Hey everyone, and I want to ask you a question. Is Jensen Button the unluckiest, luckiest driver in F1 history? So yesterday, uh, Thursday, he announced the time of the sport. Okay, this video might only be up on Sunday after the race, but I'm going to assume he's going to come st somewhere in the midfield for this race. He's not going to win the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. So I won't suggest that. I just have to assume he's going to be somewhere in the midfield. Might not even get the points. Anyway, so back to my video for being the unluckiest, luckiest driver in F1. So in terms of being lucky, we have to talk about you know, his wet weather skills. So obviously Hungary 2006, wet and dry race. Brilliant performance by Button. Won it brilliantly. Then obviously we have to go into 2010 when we have to talk about Australia and Chinese Grand Prix. In 2010 again, wet and dry dry to wet race. Great skills there. And then Canada 2011, obviously. I should put that as the first one really because it's the best ever win. And you can see driving around uh, Canada in the background here. And obviously in Brazil 2012 as well. Very lucky race him obviously. Very skilled as well. And then obviously he was able to luck in by being a pawn. Anyway, even though Honda craps him as felt quite unlucky for him. It was lucky that you know, Russell Brown took over and they were able to win the championship. Not, I don't think any other team that could do that ever again. So that's the lucky part of it, and that unlucky part. Well, he is a particularly skilled driver. He's one of the best drivers. So I would say that he is unlucky because he is sort of being an F1 at a time when he hasn't had a chance to assert himself as a dominant figure in F1. Like, so in his first few years, he obviously had to deal with Schumacher in like from 2000 to 2006, but especially 2002 till 2004. He had to deal with Schumacher, who was absolutely dominant in his dominant Ferrari. And then for the rest of the time, he's had to deal with Raikkonen, Alonso, Vettel, and Hamilton, and I guess with Weber as well. And Massa, and I guess maybe to a lesser extent Rosberg. And so that means Barton has only been able to win 15 races in this whole time, and therefore he hasn't been able to. He's not gone, that, gone down as an F1 great. No, he's a good F1 driver, but not so many people consider him a great driver. And I would suggest it's unlucky because I think it's just a matter of timing rather than being in the sport rather than his driving. Although I do think he's sometimes way too sensitive from the car. And you know, he really cares a bit too much for the oversteer and the understeer. You don't often hear other drivers like Hamilton complaining about that. And he just gets on with the job anyway. And but yeah, Button will be missed and he's been there now what this is his seventeenth season. Yeah. So he's on the he he's still one of the leading men of the sport, even though he's in the crown on the back marker to midfield team. He will be dearly missed in the sport by everyone here. And yeah, it's it, it's sad that with him and Massa, and I will do some videos about Massa at some point as well, I'm leaving at the same time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And tell, tell me, do you agree with my view that he is the, the luckiest, unluckiest driver in Formula 1 history? You know? Tell me in the comments or on Twitter at BGamingP2. And you like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see everyone very, very soon. Goodbye.